Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. Wanted to make this video on exponential moving average lines, otherwise known as EMA. So you've probably heard the term EMAs or exponential moving average uh, lines. There's also something called SMAs or simple moving average lines, right? So I'm going to go over some of the most popular uh, moving average lines. This one's right here is going to be specifically on EMAs. Uh, we also have video tutorials in our courses on uh, simple moving average lines as well. So moving average lines are incredibly popular. So whether you're day trading, swing trading, going long, you know, long term trading, um, moving average lines are, are incredibly popular uh, levels or indicators that uh, traders look at, depending again, whether you're intraday trading, going long, doesn't matter. Now, I want to stress the importance that indicators are lagging indicators so they're lagging they're not real time so with exponential and simple moving average lines they are there are a delay to them right or there is a delay to them candlestick still is the most important or still r r is <laughs> candlesticks are the most important line of defense in trading because those are instant right so these candlesticks are happening in an instant and they're forming patterns. So these are what you ideally want to look at immediately. However, you know, after candlesticks, moving average lines can be very, very popular or very important to look at because traders are aware of them because they are very important support and resistance levels. So after price action, then you're looking at support and resistance. So Candlesticks make up patterns which make up the support and resistance, which is where you would draw your horizontal support and resistance levels and trend lines. Now, after that, again, when you start to look at these moving average lines, they're, you know, very popular areas to look at because when a stock goes up, it wants to come back down. So when a stock gets too far away from these moving average lines, it's naturally going to want to gravitate back. So when a stock gets overextended, right, where it's too far away from these moving average lines, it's going to at some point naturally want to come back down to them. When a stock starts selling off, like when it's farther away from the moving average lines, you'll see down here in RSI when it's oversold, it's naturally going to want to start to gravitate back up. Now, when a price is below the moving average lines, these moving average lines become resistance. Uh, when it's above the moving average lines, it's then support so it's all support and resistance and that's you know where these emas come in and simple moving average lines in is they come in and tell very important support and resist or stories of support and resistance so you'll see on my charts here um my blue line is the nine exponential moving average line and the red is the 20. so for specifically emas and or exponential moving average lines the 9 and the 20 together are incredibly popular, right? Very popular uh, EMA, you know, lines that indicators or, or EMA points, price points that people look at. So if you're looking to add mo ex exponential moving average lines on your charts, the 9 and the 20, very popular. Now, the other really popular uh, exponential moving average line is the 13 EMA. So what you're seeing here is the 9 with the blue and the 20 with the red, but there are many traders that like to use the 13 EMA in and of itself. So it's kind of like the in-between between the nine and the 20. If you use the nine and the 20, you don't really need to use the 13. However, if you use the 13 exponential moving average, you don't really need to use the nine and the 20. So it's kind of a matter of your preference. You know, if you want to use the nine and the 20, great, or if you just want to have one line uh, that'll just be the uh, 13 EMA. Again, all a matter of your preference. I'm showing you here on a one minute time frame. I can switch this to a five minute, zoom in. And again, the nine is still there. The 20 is still there right here. So then you look at the daily chart, right? My daily chart has the nine and the 20 right here as well. These lines up here, the pink or the purplish line that you see here is the 50 simple moving average and the black line is the 200 simple moving average, very popular uh, SMAs, right? So remember, you know, again, they, these are lagging indicators, but they're very popular. Traders from all around the world play very, very close attention uh, to moving average lines because just very simple, 
support and resistance. And when a stock goes up, it's going to naturally want to pull back to the moving average line. When the stock sells off and it's farther away from the moving average line, it's going to want to naturally gravitate back, right? So you'll see here, here's a bear flag. This is falling down. Price moves back up, hits the moving average lines. It can't get back above it. So now it's now falling down. Resistance, it's hitting a wall. Price is selling off, going up, hitting a wall. It's resistance. Coming down over here, it's moving up, hitting some resistance, but now it's starting to kind of get through that wall. And you can see these moving average lines, the nine and the 20 are starting to cross, potentially a bullish sign. But now next up, you have this simple moving average line right here in the way that's resistance. If it can get above that area right here, then it might have some more room to go. So, But remember, just because you see the moving average lines and it gets above the moving average lines, you also have candlesticks and patterns as well that come in that form other support and resistance levels. So again, this video is just specifically on exponential moving average lines. You'll see here on my thinkorswim platform, if I go to edit studies, you'll see I have my exponential nine right here, the 20 over here, and you can double click on here and change the colors. Again, I like more vibrant colors, but if you like muted, have at it, you can do muted colors. And uh, you'll see you can change the length up here, you know, up or down. If I want to make this the 13, I can just go up to 13 and hit OK. And then it'll be a 13 exponential moving average rather than, you know, the 9 or the 20. But again, you know, if you can use the 9 or the 20 or you can use the 13. But don't bog yourself down. Don't, like, give it too much attention. Be aware of it. Again, you can see here, you know, prices. Well, this is a five-minute chart. Let me go back to the one minute chart here. If you were day trading, you can see, you know, kind of pulling up or making these kind of this bull flag pattern right here. So price goes up, comes back, bull flagging. This is where you might look at a potential entry right here. And you'll see price goes up. You know, again, the further it goes away, comes back down to these moving average lines, right? And you'll see, you know, as price, you know, this on this trade this morning, at some point, once it's going through, you now it's, you know, 1030 or so, be careful, you know, starts to, you know, fail over here. But then as it gets back above the moving average lines, you'll see it had a good run. And at some point, it's going to want to pull back to the moving average lines, right? So what goes up, comes back down. But then when down here, as it's selling off, it wants to go back up to the moving average lines. Support resistance pattern. So Hopefully this video helped you. Again, if you need more training, make sure to take our courses on our website. So hopefully this video helped you and we'll see you in our community. Enjoy.